Hey guys, Dave here. So one of the things that makes this channel possible is sponsorship. And our newest sponsor is Rainbow Mealworm. So for this episode, I came down here to Compton, California, and I'm standing on a block of buildings of cockroaches and crickets and mealworms, and we're gonna go check out Rainbow Mealworms and to see how all of your crickets and cockroaches and mealworms are bred and delivered to you here on this episode of Rainbow Mealworms Presents Herper's TV Shorties. Jillian Spence and I'm the general manager of Rainbow Millworms. We've been family owned and operated since 1956. My dad built this business up from his little worm farm he had in Minnesota and moved here to Compton and built the business up house by house on the street. He passed away three years ago and when he did my, my mom asked me would you come and run the business for us and so that's what I did. I built the website and got the word out about Rainbow and, and we've just been growing every single year and continuing on his dream. We'd like to show everybody everything that you buy is grown right here in California. We don't import our worms at all. Even their food, their bran and carrots we source locally from farms in Northern California. In a week we sell two to three million mealworms alone. They're our biggest seller and and then behind that's probably our giants. We sell a half a million a week of those. In these drawers, the babies, we probably have probably a good 100 to 200,000 babies per bin here. And later, you know, we'll, we'll sift them out and we'll, we'll put them 100,000 to a bin. And then as we sort them out to sell them, we, we want to keep some to sell for mini babies and some to grow then we'll continue to divide them down by size. My dad started growing mealworms that he would find in his mom's flower in the pantry. It was during the depression and it was really hard times. His family were gonna lose their house. He was in the third grade and so he needed to drop out of school. He figured out how to grow them and cultivate them and sell them to the fishermen. And uh, that way he, he was able to get money and feed his family during the depression. I like this room because it has the original trays that my dad built back in the, I'd say he built these in the 60s by hand. And we still use them to this day. These are uh, super worms that are growing. So you see like, even though these guys are the same size as the giants, they are a lot more lively. Because when these guys are a full size, they're gonna be about two inches long. So this is just like the, the last tray that we see that we saw, except for these guys um, haven't been allowed to pupate, and so they're a lot bigger. A mealworm normally will pupate, turn into a beetle, but with our giants, we alter their diet and their hours of light and their temperatures. We stop them from pupating so they grow bigger into a giant worm. So a typical large mealworm is an inch long, but these giant sizes are an inch and a half long. They're also a lot they're a lot less lively than our typical mealworm because they've grown so big, you know, they're, um, they push their skin sort of out to the max so it doesn't wriggle as well and collapse. So they stay a lot more still. Oh, we call them just to keep them in holding. We don't want them to try to pupate or grow any longer. So before we're gonna ship them, we'll put them in the cooler, cool them down a little bit and keep them right at this state so they'll be nice and fresh and. And also when they get to the customer, we, we don't want them to try to pupate or anything too quickly or shed their skin. So this keeps them dormant until right before shipping. So when they arrive at the customer's store, they're nice and fresh. Um, you know, we're all natural. And so we put our bran, when we get it, it goes into the aluminum silos and it's, it's gonna bake for a week in there in the sun. And that's gonna kill any pests, anything that might have come in with it. Um, just so that it, it doesn't have any mites or pests in it and it's all baked naturally for you. So this is our roach growing room. And uh, so we grow our Madagascars and our dubias in here um, from, from baby size all up to adults. And same with our hissing roaches. What would you say we have in here? You're like a good half a million? Close Probably a million? more. Maybe close to a million? Yeah. Dubious? Pretty much, yeah.
So here's where it gets hot. They're crickets. They need to be kept really warm. They need to, um, they need to be kept really humid in order to grow and thrive. Um, when, when people get crickets at their house, they often complain they die within a week. And it's because they need this high heat to thrive. So um, if you don't have a, like a ceramic heater or under tank heater, they're gonna, they're gonna get too cold and get sick and die on you. What's cool about pinheads is um, the, the movie industry often comes here when they need ants in a film and they'll use pinhead crickets because on film they look just like ants. And so you don't have to worry about the actress or the actor getting bit or having a reaction to crickets. So this is how we hatch them in here. There's millions of babies in there coming, coming out of their eggs. This is where we pack crickets for shipping. This is Vivi. Hi. He packs our crickets for us. So he, we sort them out at the beginning of the day and he puts them in these bins and they're by different size. And so um, he'll get his orders and just set them up and, and pack them. This is something a lot of customers don't know that on our cricket boxes, they have a semicircle cut into them here that we put a piece of tape over. But when you get them, you don't need to open up a open up the whole box and have them fly out. You can just open up the semicircle here and then dump them out into your enclosure. Well, we have 47 employees. Pretty much everybody here is related. People, we have people that are working here that are grandfathers that now have their grandchildren working alongside them, cousins, uncles. So I don't think there's anybody here pretty much that's working that isn't related to somebody. But it's just a really nice little family that we have.